Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic of discussion, uh, chlorine and its compounds. And today we are discussing the oxidation properties of chlorine. So we can say that uh, chlorine is an oxidizing agent and it can oxidize a number of substances. For instance, uh, if we have uh, uh, metal sulfites, uh, those metal sulfites are oxidized to metal sulfates by chlorine. So in that case, chlorine becomes an oxidizing agent. So we can have an example. So in this case, we have an example whereby a mixture of sodium sulfite and acidified barium nitrate are added to chlorine gas. A white precipitate is formed. So what happens here is that the sulfite in the sodium sulfite is the one that is oxidized to a sulfate. And that's where there is the formation of a white precipitate. So we are saying that when uh, sodium sulfite is oxidized to sodium sulfate, then the sulfate reacts with the barium nitrate to form a white precipitate of barium sulfate. It's a bit long. It has two steps. The first step, uh, we are saying that uh, uh, sodium sulfite, sodium sulfite, this is a solution of course plus water plus chlorine in this case chlorine is an oxidizing agent so the chlorine oxidizes the sodium sulfite to sodium sulfate so we have sodium sulfate uh, being formed it's an aqueous solution uh, while chlorine is reduced uh, to hydrogen chloride. Chlorine is reduced to hydrogen chloride uh, solution. Then the sodium sulfate that is formed is further reacted with acidified barium nitrate. acidified barium nitrate and this one forms barium sulfate which is a white precipitate. Barium sulfate which is a white precipitate and then sodium nitrate. Which is a solution. We balance the nitrate and the sodium, they are balanced. So basically what we are saying is that uh, uh, the sulfite ions are oxidized by chlorine gas in the presence of water to sulfate ions. And the only way to confirm that the sulfate ions have been formed is by reacting those sulfate ions with barium nitrate, acidified barium nitrate. And in this case, the barium ions combine with the sulfate ions to form barium sulfate, which is a white precipitate. So we can write this in form of an ionic equation. So ionically, ionically, we are saying that barium ions plus the sulfate ions that have been formed after the oxidation by chlorine 
they combine to form barium sulfate and this barium sulfate is the white precipitate. So that is an example showing that chlorine is an oxidizing agent. So we can say that, uh, yeah, that's an example that shows that chlorine has the oxidation properties. We can still take another example. Uh, we can still take another example. But before we take another example, it's important to note that uh, barium nitrate is acidified using nitric acid. Barium uh, nitrate is acidified using nitric acid because if you acidify using uh, hydrochloric acid, it will introduce the chloride ions and the chloride ions are going to interfere with the, with the reaction. So in this case, uh, barium nitrate is acidified using nitric acid is acidified using nitric acid. We can say that sulfuric acid cannot be used because it contains sulfate ions which will precipitate before the reaction is done, before the reaction is done. So sulfuric acid should not be used to acidify barium nitrate because if it is used, the barium nitrate just forms a white precipitate even before the reaction is done. But for nitric acid, it is the best to acidify by barium nitrate. Another example uh, of oxidation properties of chlorine is seen in uh, when chlorine gas uh, reacts with ammonia. With ammonia gas and this leads to formation of dense white fumes forms dense white fumes of ammonium chloride ammonium chloride so when chlorine and nitrogen gas of course so we are saying that when chlorine gas reacts with ammonia uh, there is formation of dense white fumes of ammonium chloride and nitrogen gas so we'll see how that reaction is an oxidation so we have chlorine plus ammonia gas to form ammonium chloride. These are dense white fumes plus nitrogen, which is a gas as well. So on this, Uh, we are saying that uh, uh, chlorine oxidizes ammonia to ammonium chloride. So what actually happens here, and then the ammonia itself is reduced, is oxidized to nitrogen because there is loss of hydrogen. So the change here, the change from ammonia to nitrogen, that one is an oxidation. Is an oxidation uh, because the hydrogen has been removed. On the other hand, chlorine, the hydrogen is added. 
So there is hydrogen that is added and that is a reduction. That's a reduction. So in other words, we can say that chlorine is the oxidizing agent. Chlorine is the oxidizing agent. Another example can also be seen when chlorine reacts with hydrogen sulfide. So you can say that uh, when chlorine gas is reacted with hydrogen sulfide, a yellow solid of sulfur is deposited. And that is to show that the hydrogen sulfide is oxidized to sulfur. Hydrogen sulfide is oxidized to sulfur by chlorine, while chlorine is reduced to hydrogen chloride. So chlorine will gain the hydrogen and become reduced, while the hydrogen sulfide will lose the hydrogen and become oxidized. So we are saying that addition of hydrogen is reduction. Loss of hydrogen is oxidation. So here we are saying that uh, hydrogen sulfide gas plus chlorine. So the hydrogen sulfide loses the hydrogen to form sulfur, which is a yellow solid. And then the hydrogen combines with chlorine to form HCl gas, to form hydrogen chloride gas. So to balance that, we'll put a 2 there, and that equation is balanced. So the change of hydrogen sulfide to sulfur, that is oxidation. The oxidizing agent, chlorine. There is loss of hydrogen, so there is oxidation there. Chlorine, on the other hand, gains, ox uh, gains hydrogen to form hydrogen chloride. So that is a reduction. Reduction by gaining hydrogen. Here, it's oxidation by losing hydrogen. So basically, that is uh, uh, the oxidation properties of chlorine. So we have seen three examples that show that chlorine is an oxidizing agent. One is by oxidizing sulfites to sulfates. Two, uh, by uh, oxidizing ammonia to nitrogen. And three, by oxidizing hydrogen sulfide to sulfur, which is yellow. <coughs> so the assignment... So the first question explain how chlorine oxidizes sulfites to sulfates. Use equations where necessary. Number two, what is an oxidizing agent and a reducing agent? So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye.